<laughs> oh, hello, my little treasure. It's been a while since I've seen you here at the library. Is everything okay? Oh, of course. It's perfectly fine to browse. It's just that I've been bringing books home for you, so I wasn't expecting you to bother making the trip. Actually, in just a moment. Jire, can you cover me at the front desk for a moment? I'm going to reshelve these books in the esoteric section. There we go. Hardly anybody goes there, so we'll be able to talk privately. <laughs> oh, it's fine. I used to abandon my post all the time to flirt with you when you came before. Doing it one more time after a few months isn't going to get me fired. Besides, they don't really keep me here for manning the desk or shelving books. That's just busy work to justify paying me for being here. They keep me around for how good I am at organizing everything. None of the others are even half as good as I am, so I have a good job security. Actually, while we're here in the esoteric section, do you want to grab some books? You're one of the only people who reads these. Most of the books here that I need to reshelve are the ones I brought home for you. Well, let's see. Studies of Northern Dire Wolves. Seems like it would be up your alley. It turns out that dire wolves don't actually exist. But it's interesting to read for the sake of seeing how far the author went to fake a discovery. And The Lost Monster. That's a strange one. It's about a researcher that finds a monster that's actually a member of a long-lost civilization. Honestly, that one probably doesn't really belong here. But we've never been able to figure out if it's intended to be fiction or non-fiction, so we're at a bit of a loss. Oh, but wait. I just remembered. I've actually been compiling a... Special list of books for you. <laughs> well, it's a list of books that I find romantic. I thought they might, you know, give you some ideas. They've certainly inspired me. Do you remember the special dinner that we had last week? I got the idea from... Wait, let me grab the list. Uh, yes, from The Long Lost Lover. It's such a sweet story. It's about two people that don't realize their feelings for each other until they're separated. The dinner idea comes from this absolutely darling scene where... Well... I don't want to spoil it, but trust me, it's just wonderful. Another good one is The Cherub Sing. That one isn't a story, it's more of an investigation into what love really is. So insightful. In fact, I wrote down a quote from it. Why do we love people? that we know walk a difficult path. People that are different, or damaged, or struggling. We can only assume that true love doesn't see these things. It sees only a kindred spirit who desires to love and be loved just like us. Isn't that so beautiful? It reminds me of us. Despite our differences, 
and not just the difference in species, we've been able to look past it all and be happy together. Oh, that actually leads me to this one. Love goes on. A lot of books just talk about falling in love, but this is more about what to do in the later stages of a relationship. It has a lot of good insights. I actually haven't finished it. It recommended that after the first chapter, you read it together with your loved one. So I thought we could do that together soon. Sweetie, are you okay? I can't help but notice that you look a little... uncomfortable. I hope that I'm not boring you with all of this. I just thought that as long as you're reading, you might as well... Oh? Oh no, honey, no. This wasn't about correcting you or anything. You're a wonderful partner. You're great to me. I just thought that things could be even better if we both read up on the subject. Research is certainly something that we're both good at. You're not having self-doubt problems again, are you? Oh, my sweet, wonderful treasure. I'm sorry to hear that. You know how highly I think of you. Shh, it's all right. I'm not blaming you. It's not your fault. These things happen sometimes, even after they've been addressed before. That's completely natural. Come here. Let me give you a big hug and kiss. <sighs> Poor thing. I wish I could take all those mean, nasty thoughts you have about yourself and just burn them all up. You deserve so much better, my love. Unfortunately, I think this will take a lot longer than that. But that's okay. I'm very patient when it comes to keeping my treasure in pristine condition. Was there anything that triggered these thoughts, do you think? Are you going through a lot of stress? Or did somebody say something to you? No, it's okay. I get it. Sometimes thoughts just start to sneak up on you. You know, it wasn't long after our first date that I suddenly started thinking that you hated me. It's true, I did. The date had been wonderful. You said so many nice things to me. I was riding a high for days afterward. And then, suddenly, I started to doubt all of it. Well, I was nervous about dumping even more of my baggage onto you after we had just started dating, so I never mentioned it. Thankfully, I have a lot of good ways to work through thoughts like that, so it wasn't that big of a deal. But I do understand how that must feel. I don't know how much I can do to help make those feelings go away, but I can remind you of how much I love you. You are just so charming and sweet. It's not something you do on purpose, but you do it so well anyway. The adorable way you stutter when you compliment me. How you try to probe me for ideas of what I'd like for a gift in your not-so-subtle way. Nobody else in the world has quite the combination of romanticism and shyness that you have. But sweetie... Those are good things. Do you know what it tells me when you do stuff like that? It tells me that I'm important to you. 
People don't get nervous about things that they don't care about, and it shows me how real your feelings are. You put everything you have into this relationship, and you're so willing to leave your comfort zone for me. Sometimes I feel like I'm the one who needs to catch up. That's why I love to do special things for you. I want to make you feel as loved as you make me feel. And that's a tall order, because you make me feel like the most valued thing in the world. <laughs> well, we can't know the future for sure, but as a matter of fact, I do think I'll always feel that way. In fact, I... Well, I don't think it's too soon to say this. I see this relationship moving towards marriage one day. Of course, you've been simply wonderful to me, and you don't show any signs of stopping. You never struck me as the type of person to put on an act anyway, but these last few months have shown me just how thoughtful you always are to me. Anyone can be nice and charming for a little while, but you've been just perfect the whole time. And there's no rush, of course. Marriage is something truly special, and it's worth it to take time and make sure you're ready for it. But when we are, there's no one that I'd rather spend the rest of my life with than you. I hope that helps a bit with those naughty, self-doubting thoughts of yours. I have a few ideas for when we're back home to squash those for good. And then we still have our vacation coming up, of course. I'm going to show you just how much I love you over the next few weeks, just to make sure you understand your place as my beloved treasure. Now, I probably slacked off long enough. You can stay in the library, of course, but I need to get a little work done. I have to at least pretend to be productive. <laughs> oh, don't forget about these books. And those other books are... Here, just take the list. Assuming you still want to read them, of course. All right, I'll check on you again later if you're still here. If you can, find me and give me a goodbye kiss before you leave. And maybe another one right now. You're the best treasure I could ever have. <laughs>